government declared the polar bear a threatened species on Wednesday. Interior Secretary Dirk Kempthorne cited global warming and a decline in sea ice over the last three decades as a threat to the polar bear. Our scientists advise me that computer modeling projects a significant population decline by the year 2050. This, in my judgment, makes the polar bear a threatened species, one likely to become in danger of extinction in the foreseeable future. Projections of continued losses mean that the species is likely to be in danger of extinction in the near future. According to environmental groups, the government has been stalling on a decision to protect polar bears for several months in order to issue oil and gas exploration leases in Alaska. The decision was made only after a coalition of environmental groups sued the government under the Endangered Species Act. The coalition won a court order which forced the government to make a decision about the polar bear by May 15th. Unfortunately, it took dragging the Bush administration into court on at least several occasions to get this determination uh, that the polar bear is in fact endangered. When a citizen group like NRDC and the Center for Biological Diversity files a petition to protect the polar bear, which we did, the Endangered Species Act sets forth mandatory deadlines that the federal government has to comply with. And in this case, as in many cases, the administration simply blew those deadlines off. It completely ignored them. And the only way to get a final decision was for us to sue and to make a federal judge order the Bush administration to make a final decision, which is what they did. Environmental groups welcomed the decision, but the listing falls short of what many had hoped for. Some groups are already challenging the limitations of the government's decision. Unfortunately, the, the, at the same time that the Bush administration listed the polar bear, it attempted to undermine the listing. For example, it refused to, to designate the Arctic as a protected critical habitat area, so there's no direct protection for the Arctic. And then it issued a special rule to exempt greenhouse gas emissions and, and oil and gas exploration and drilling from the Endangered Species Act. So, so the Bush administration is doing its best to try to make the decision uh, as meaningless as possible. We filed a second lawsuit on May 16th challenging Bush's attempt to exempt greenhouse gases from the Endangered Species Act. So we're in court already and, and we expect that we'll get some rulings fairly soon telling the administration to, to play it straight and just protect the bear and, and not attempt these, these sideways exemptions.